Star Trek IV, The F Voyage Home. I have referred to this movie for decades as the non-fan favorite. And what I mean by that is anytime you come across a, a casual viewer of the uh, Star Trek franchise, you know... It's it's always like this. Have you seen any of the, the uh, Star Trek movies? Oh yeah, I think I've uh, I think I've seen most of them actually. You know. Uh, oh yeah, which one was your favorite? I love the one about the whales. Let's face it, there's not a whole lot not to love about Star Trek for the voyage home. Um, it's a time travel adventure. Um, it's lighthearted. It's funny, um, and uh, it's just it, it's a good installment for the uh, Star Trek movie series. So let's see what happens. Well, well, we, you know, the plot is this probe comes back and tries to contact the uh, humpback whales, and since they're extinct, it doesn't get an answer. And, kind of wreaks havoc on the whole planet, so Kirk has to take his crew back in their, uh, in the Klingon cruiser and, um, see if he can find a pair of humpbacks to bring back to the future. Anyway, uh, let's see, uh, Mark Leonard, uh, once again reprises his role of Sarek, and, uh, Jane Wyatt this time reprises her role as uh, Spock's mother. I forgot to mention in Star Trek III, um, Robin Curtis replaced um, Kirstie Alley as Sarek. Or, um, not Sarek, um, Savick. And um, I like Robin, Robin Curtis. I did not like her portrayal of... Um, Savick, just because, um, you know, to my knowledge, or at least what I remember growing up, Savick was supposed to be half Romulan. Um, I believe even grew up uh, partially on Romulus. So she was, it was a lot harder for her to. Uh, control her emotions uh, despite some of the dialogue in Star Trek 2 was a lot, supposedly a lot harder for her to control her emotions than a full-blooded Vulcan. Um, that completely went out the window with uh, Robin Curtis uh, and she just portrayed Savick as a complete full-blooded Vulcan even though she was not. But anyway, like I said, I, I like her as an actress. She, I believe, plays a Romulan in Star Trek The Next Generation. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, Star Trek IV The Voyage Home is, is a good installment in the Star Trek movies. Although, my favorite character doesn't show up to the very end, the Enterprise herself, albeit in the... Uh, form of the rechristened uh, USS Yorktown, uh, which ironically was supposed to be the name of the ship in Star Trek from the beginning. It was supposed to be the SS Yorktown, but uh, that was changed to Enterprise. So anyway, um, that's my uh, opinion on uh, Star Trek for Oh, let's see. Um, Leonard Rosenman uh, did the music for Star Trek 4. And the only other thing that I've... only other movie I've seen that he's scored is um, uh, Fantastic Voyage from 1966. And... Um, which was like 22 years prior to uh, uh, Star Trek 4. But y yeah, definitely if you watch um, Fantastic Voyage, you can definitely hear the music is very similar, especially when they uh, uh, crash at the end in Star Trek IV and talk to the whales. Uh, 
very similar uh, musical motifs, I guess you could say. So anyway, uh, that's my uh, review of Star Trek for the Voyage Home, and the next one will be, of course, <laughs> Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. Stay tuned.